Hello my fellow Fall of the Samurai players, Zarip here and today I want to show you two games from my match against Angelus in uh, Rising Sun tournament, it's a uh, second uh, stage. In the first stage I won against uh, VM Surprise and I probably will cast that match later um, because I still didn't find time to, but now I want to t uh, cast this match because, and I will spoil it, I lost 0-2 and while it's fresh I want to go over my mistakes and talk about one pretty important thing. Uh, lately I'm not joining the tournaments for a very simple reason. I don't have time to prepare, I don't have time to play. So even so I have, well I believe I have decent knowledge of a game overall when I'm actually inside the game and I have to make decisions. I'm super slow. I don't see very obvious stuff. Game ends. I go to watch a replay, and I see so many things I could have done better without even clicking pause. I just put it on normal speed, and I see so much. And that's the difference between people who actively play and uh, people who only cast, uh, which lately I only cast, and who don't actually touch a mouse, uh, let's call it that. Well, let's go into the game and see how it goes. And uh, as a commentator, well, <laughs> my pride was saved by a fact that I guessed Angelus build uh, right. I have seen his matches on, uh, and casted some of his matches on Agony 1v1 Championship, so I know that he loves to play cavalry heavy, very aggressively, and in my state, my current state, it's probably the worst possible uh, playstyle. Uh, I mean, he may do as many mistakes as uh, possible, but I still will not be able to react to it. So, knowing that my micro is at awful level, I take quite a um, stable build. Uh, I have a uh, Royal Marines here with 150 range. I have Shogunate Guard Infantry Vanilla, uh, two Vanilla Red Bears, uh, oh, four Vanilla Red Bears. So it's kind of knowing that he will have some sort of cavalry. I want this line to protect uh, each other. I have two Spear Levies and pretty strong cavalry contingent myself. So it's uh, four Yariki, three of them level six, I believe, and one of them level five. I also have Vanilla Revolver Cavalry, just to even out Cavalry fight, which I believe I would lose. Uh, now, my general is Command Gen mostly, with gun enabled. Now for Angelus Army, he have uh, five line units, it's uh, United States Marines, uh, four Vanilla Red Bears, uh, well, not all Vanilla, some uh, one level two, one level one, and eight Cavalry units. Uh, Three Sabru Cavalry level 2, one Shogunat Guard Cavalry level 2, and four Yariki. Two of them level 6, and uh, uh, three of them level 6, and one of them level 2. So let's pause for a second and think about his build. Pretty, I mean, scary build. Uh, I don't even know how. <laughs> it's the fact that Sabru Cavalry is so fast now and so cheap. And the fact that uh, uh, he doesn't take any melee infantry units, look how scary it is. He still have decent amount of line. And especially on this map, uh, where he can easily control this choke point using only three or four line units. Uh, because of terrain, um, uh, and because it's basically a choke point. And now, against any line heavy build, look, he have enough cavalry to uh, ch charge uh, eight units, eight line units. He can stop eight line units from shooting, which is a lot. Uh, so mm, he have numbers, uh, which is pretty cool and uh, very difficult to deal with uh, because you have to react to everything he does. And uh, generally against such a build, uh, with a build like mine, where I put much more money in my infantry, I have one more uh, Shogunate Guard infantry and uh, two Spear Levies. So, if you 
play on my side, I mean, what I should have done, I should have put my forces much more compact. But the problem is, if I put them too compact, if I uh, get them together, he can uh, basically wrap around me, and his cavalry is strong enough to deal with my cavalry. Now, uh, think probably, in my opinion, the only moment in the game where I actually had a uh, decent chance of winning, uh, of taking initiative. Let's take at uh, Angelus cavalry. Uh, he uses two Sabri cavalry to go around me, which is smart. He wants to put a pressure on my back so that I uh, uh, put some of my line units uh, looking back. Uh, these three units, since he didn't know where exactly my cavalry is, he didn't know if they're in this forest or uh, hidden here. So he did uh, get his... Um, Shogunat Guard Cavalry and to Yariki in this forest, just in case. So at this point, in this vicinity, he have one Yariki level 6, Yariki level 2, and Sabre Cavalry. Uh, and that's all. That's all. So what? just imagine what would happen if here I decide to take a risk, uh, as I should, because I have a Cavalry advantage here, push around, and at the same time move my line here. Uh, I would probably... Of course, it's with my micro at this level, it's uh, not uh, not certain, but I will get initiative. I will start a cavalry fight near his line. I will probably have a chance to charge his line because his cavalry is out of position right now. Now let's, let's see what actually happens and uh, all the mistakes I do. Uh, it's uh, it's a bit painful to look at. Look, things look even better for me. See, his cavalry is still wasting time there. And look, this is the point. Look, just imagine, this line is almost uh, on position. So if I don't uh, hide my uh, cavalry in the forest, especially considering that I have revolver cavalry, look how far away his saber cavalry and at this point, if if you look, um, I don't show you uh, my orders. You can, if I showed you, can notice how slow I am with putting them. And I didn't have enough attention span to actually take a look at minimap. I mean, I lost my ability to look at minimap. Can you imagine it? Uh, <laughs> yeah, you can probably. So I see my only chance in this game at this point uh, is, uh, well, I mean with this <laughs> play style to attack this flank right now because here all the line close enough so if he tries to turn uh, this line units face this direction mm, I can move in uh, from the middle so basically this line unit and this cavalry contingent is on their own for some time so if I charge my for Yariki if I move my red beer closer and then move with my revolver uh, cavalry from the back, I will have initiative. I will have an advantage on this flank. And if he tries to do some crisis management, I will move in and deal with it. Because here, uh, Angelus does sort of mistake he is spreading too far. Well, in the end it went pretty well for him, but he's spreading too far, so this unit will not be able to uh, put enough attention in time. I think I have a chance to break this flank fast enough. But in game, I didn't see it. I played completely passively. I mean, I have no idea how to attack in this game. And here I, do, I do pretty significant mistake as well. Look at this. I misjudge the terrain and I misjudge the distances. I, I'm too busy uh, looking at this red beers. Uh, let me stop this. I'm too busy looking at this red beers that gave one volley at this Yarki and I was, whoa, cool, I killed four men. Okay, nice, uh, doing something. And completely... Uh, then uh, managing this uh, uh, spear levy, my general, and completely missing the fact that my royal marines. And this this is a problem what you, when you don't have enough uh, practice. You start getting tunnel uh, vision. I was too focused on this stuff, but I have enough time to micro everything. There was tons of time, but I didn't. And look, 
Yeah. Missing this volley. He ca caught myself uh, me in a in a move, and I'm not even sure if it was uh, deliberate. Uh, if he noticed that I'm uh, moving, or maybe it he just moved uh, in in the right time uh, by luck. Who knows? Uh, but terrible mistake on my part. Absolutely terrible. I gave up first volley when I sh got an advantage. Actually, uh, I mean, uh, well, not an advantage, but. I I need didn't need to attack here actually, and so I'm very angry. I'm ha having tunnel vision now on this part. I'm trying to manage my uh, Royal Marines, and uh, now look, he's completely uh, put his cavalry in, his cavalry in position, and now he's taking initiative. He got first volley. He 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 had a fast advantage, and now before line fight goes uh, too long. He gives attack order to his cavalry and starts moving his Sabre cavalry. And now, mm, well, you will see what happens. I'm too busy microing this, uh, do s s uh, s trying to micro this uh, flank. See, I'm giving order for my Spear Levis because I see the Sabre cavalry and completely miss this charge. Uh, well, that's it. Uh, yeah, some management I'm actually saving my revolver cavalry, but uh, at this point game is pretty much done. He got charge against me here, he tied up my red bears, his uh, red bear infantry shooting, he pretty much destroyed my royal marines, his own united states marines uh, have 112 men, his sabre cavalry went around of my spear levies, stopped my shogunate guard infantry from shooting. This is over. I mean it wasn't necessary that I would lose. Uh, but the point is... Uh, when you play against player with such a cavalry heavy build, you either want to be... Uh, how should I explain it? When he is good, and Angelus is pretty good with uh, uh, cavalry as you can see, he timed his line uh, push and his cavalry charges pretty well. And he managed to micro his cavalry near this forest and these two Sabre cavalry at the same time. And what I did, I was too passive. First of all, I spread too much. I load him to flank me. I mean, while these units were here, I could have done so much uh, in this flank. I did a pretty good thing, I mean, in a sense. I created a force imbalance. I had my 150 here. I had all my cavalry here while... Uh, Angelo's forces were more or less evenly distributed, so I could have used it, but I'm just non not in a shape to see it in the game. And here, when uh, Angelo's actually started moving in, I didn't turn around my Imperial Guard uh, infantry to face this Sabre cavalry. I probably I should have just pulled back here. I mean, uh, no need to. I don't know. Probably I, I I don't even know what I could have done here because it was all already too late when I gave up initiative. Uh, what else I can tell? Well, when you deal with composition like his, if he spreads his cavalry, you want to catch it one by one. And you want, I want, uh, when I have such a line advantage, I want to use it somehow. But look... Uh, there wasn't any point of time where I have a shooting advantage over him, which is because most of the time my camera was here, and you see how slow. I didn't even take time to change my settings. I mean, it's pretty much, in a sense, it's it's a waste of Angelo's time. I mean, I'm pretty sorry that I, I, I took a liberty to play in such a state, but uh, I just don't have time to prepare, unfortunately. I have to choose between playing and recording. Still, mm, something game you can learn from. Uh, first, uh, do a proper warm up. I have one game of warm up uh, which I won on ladder, but ladder is ladder, right? So, and no matter how uh, good you can read the game on replays or something, you need this. Uh, y y you need your fingers to remember this camera work exact uh, movements of your camera. 
exact uh, turning angles of your camera and you want uh, your hands to do exact movements you want to check out all the ranges i in this game i even forgot to click uh, space sometimes i forgot uh, to check um, uh, ranges uh, am i in range or not and i mean i forgot to check uh, the terrain when i should have so it's not even a decision loss i mean even if I did a good decision, if I attacked here, chances that I could manage it well, uh, close to zero, because I'm just not in a shape to do it uh, right. And uh, actually it's something I was uh, desiring to talk uh, on a long time now. Uh, there is stuff you want to train without going into games. Uh, la sometimes you want uh, to launch a custom game and do very simple stuff. Uh, I don't know, create an enemy with 5 cavalry, be 5 cavalry yourself, and you want to just move your camera so that you can look at any point of a map from any point of a map in one movement. You want to uh, adjust your camera settings so you can do it in one movement. You want to adjust your scroll movements so you can instantly take a look at terrain, go out. Uh, and you just have to remember uh, how much you want to scroll in, scroll down. And basically, don't go out of the custom map until you feel that you free, that you can move as you want. If you feel something wrong, uh, ch uh, change settings, try again, because your mouse should be ideally pointed at anything you want in one move. Your camera should be looking at anything you want in one move. I mean, that's pretty important. And uh, uh, other thing, <laughs> I, I know it might sound stupid, but I'm going... Because I don't have time to play a lot, I want to use my time more effectively. So what I'm going to do, and then we will see if it will bring any results, I'm going to use a timer, which would uh, make an annoying noise each 15 seconds, or maybe 10 seconds. And each time I hear this annoying noise, I would know that I have to take a look at minimap and at my unit cuts. Because on unit cuts, it shows if your unit being shot at. So I want to check minimap, I want to check my units each 15 seconds. It's something that StarCraft uh, pros do a lot. Uh, and I believe if everything goes right, if I can... Uh, have enough patience to do it and do it at least a couple times a week, I believe that my eyes would learn automatically do this each 15 seconds. And uh, we will see how it goes, right? And now let's take a look at a second game, a really fast look. Uh, well, final stats first, of course, and then uh, second game. Sir, your general has sustained a terrible injury. I hope it actually works but because, I mean, I'm ashamed to play that, but it's not like I'm a... I never was a great player or even a good one, but I know that in my best shape, I did some, I, I did show some pretty cool battles. When I was, well, uh, when I ate good, when I slept good, when I played a lot, when I was in a good mood, uh, it's kind of, I just went and I played so well against quite a strong opponents. Uh, but now I just, can't do that, I can't control and partly because I always feel pressure how do I make better videos, how do I make them more useful, how do I time uh, have a time, find a time to uh, cast and upload uh, all the tournament matches because I want to cover as much as possible, because I feel that uh, right now, there is still a lack of uh, replace, now Two years after Shogun was released and a uh, year after Shogun uh, Fall of the Samurai was released, we're actually getting to the point where game well understood. We're getting to the point where there is a lot of knowledge that can be distributed between everyone. And if we cast enough, if we cast it meaningfully, which I still fail in, in the vanilla, I believe general level of play may rise and that people may want to play more. 
because they would see that game isn't something that oh it's only about veterans oh it's only about our pdlc units no it's not there is much more to this game than units than units composition it's decision making in the game it's your psychological and uh, physiological shape uh, it's really important because if you i'm sorry but if you want to take a dump you cannot play good right there is a lot of factors in this game and which makes game really deep and i can't it's, it's kind of i cannot share this feeling i, I feel that i cannot uh, explain it well enough but i hope i will be able soon okay so let's take a look at unit stats shall we not a single unit went all out of 100 kills for me 95 kills on this revolver cavalry so pretty much i failed uh, my shogun guard infantry was stopped from shooting uh, by sabre cavalry of angelus and my royal marines because of my ridiculous mistake were decimated i uh, missed cavalry charge uh, of angelus and my yariki well they even in the forest they didn't do anything I had minus 5 charge retainer, because I guessed his build well. Forest should have slowed down his cavalry. Still, mm, awful, awful uh, uh, play on my side. And of course, complete misuse of Spear Levis. I mean, <laughs> I didn't find a good place to put them. Uh, just moved them uh, around too much. Now for Angelus, his United States Marines did well getting first volley on my Royal Marines and uh, continuing shooting after that. This Sabre Cavalry, well, charging in the back of my uh, line, doing all they want. And interestingly enough, main amount of kills uh, on his line, which he moved in pretty nicely. Mm. Well, yeah, sort of expected. And if you... Sure, you can uh, micro your cavalry, eight cavalry units one by one. You should actually try out build like this. It's relatively strong against, even against line spam, because you still have pretty good front. I mean, it's five unit long line front with 150 range unit, and a lot of cavalry to when shooting starts. This cavalry can stop his units from shooting, and your line would be in the end more effective. This Sabre Cavalry pretty cheap. Uh, well, that's the first game, and let's take a look at the second one. I, 